Switch over to weather. What a storm last night. So wow. many of you sent in your pictures, your videos of what it looked like right in your own backyard. Yeah, dust was flying across the western Treasure Valley, pushed by winds that hit 60 miles per hour. It made backyards barely visible and brought lightning and rain, as you can see here across the region. Check out this lightning shot from CJ Ack in San Hollow. Look at that. And some video from B Glass in Idaho City with the lightning lighting up that purple sky there. The storm did cause some damage. Whitney Danos in Marsing sent us these pictures. The trees fell on her house. She says nobody was hurt though, and all their farm animals are safe too. And Liza in Caldwell sent us this one. The dust was so bad, Jeez. she couldn't even see into her backyard. Look at that video. Now, all of these photos and videos were shared with us on our Idaho Weather Watchers page. It is a lot of fun to be a part of, and especially on big days like yesterday, a lot of people are sharing what's happening in their backyards. Yeah, boy, that video looks like something from the Dust Bowl days from wow. way back when. That is really thick dust there, Larry. The winds, 60 Yeah, they were 60 miles per hour gusts, uh, some even a little bit higher than that, but right around 60 miles per hour. So it is a very strong storm, and we've got temperatures this morning then that have cooled a little bit. We're not as warm as we were yesterday at this time. We were around 72 degrees. Now we're at 61, and so we're looking at some southwest winds that are pretty light. Also, the Magic Valley doesn't have that strong of winds. Here's what it looks like hour by hour. As we go through the day, we're going to be seeing warm up again to the 70s, 80s, but not as hot as yesterday. We'll be cooler. That helps. We still have another disturbance coming through out of the south, but because we won't be as hot, it's not going to be as powerful. We are talking about a high today that'll be about 92 degrees. We do expect some breezy winds associated with that, but then we're talking about the possibility of isolated thunderstorms this evening, this evening, but mostly south of the Snake River this time, not quite as far north. We have some fire weather warnings and, and, and red flag warnings out there, so we're going to be seeing that and then triple-digit temperatures. Details coming up.